Hello and welcome to your practice today. I'm Annie Clark and I'm going to guide you through a 15 minute morning yoga practice to help you get ready for whatever the day ahead of you has in store. So come and join me in a comfortable seat. I like to practice with a couple of blocks, especially in the morning when the body's a little bit tight. It helps to bring the ground a bit closer towards us. If you don't have blocks, maybe you've got something like blocks. And if you don't have any, don't worry about it at all. Just be mindful that when we're reaching for the ground, depending on what body you are in today, uh, it might be that you want to modify just to make sure you're not overstretching. The most important thing is to keep ourselves safe by meeting ourselves where we are. So that might look different to how it did yesterday or how it might look tomorrow. See if you can get really present, listen to what your body needs today. And yeah, let's, let's get started. So find a nice tall spine. Think of rooting the sitting bones down, lengthening the crown of the head up, and then drawing your navel to your spine and your chin to your throat. So you have this beautiful long spine, and then if it's safe for you to do so, you could close the eyes, or otherwise just let the eyes soften to a point in front of you and just relax the gaze. So we're just dialing down the sense of sight for a moment so we can start to move the awareness inwards. And we're going to begin by focusing on our breath. A really good way to notice how it is when we're or how we are rather when we arrive into our practice and as we carry ourselves through our practice we let the awareness become an anchor for the breath so let's gently draw the breath in and out through the nose Whenever you feel the mind carrying you away, you can come back to the breath as a way to guide you into the present moment. Let's bring the hands to the heart and set an intention for our practice. Maybe uh, there's something that you want to cultivate in the day ahead of you and we can set the foundation or um, get ourselves prepared through our practice this morning. So if there's something that you'd like to uplift, to invite into your day or even just into your practice, then hold that clearly, not just in the mind, but in this heart space. And let's use that to cultivate a really strong sense of intention through our short practice today. And take a deep breath in. Big sigh to release the breath. And then release the hands. If you're sitting on something, just take it from underneath you, place it to the top of the mat. You're gonna walk your right hand to the right side. Keep your sitting bones rooting down, but reach that left arm up and over. Maybe you come down onto the forearm, maybe you stay on the fingertips. Try to keep the right side of the waist long. Just take a couple of breaths. And then come back to the center. Take a big inhale as you reach to the other side. And exhale, folding to the left. Good, then come back to the center. This time, place the right hand behind your back. Take your left hand onto your right knee and look over the right shoulder. Drawing your navel to spine, keep the spine lengthening, crown of the head reaching up. And then find the left hand behind the back, right hand to the left knee, and just take the twist over to the other side. Good, now place the left hand to the outside of the right knee. I'll turn to the side so you can see me. And we're going to just fold inwards, getting a nice stretch through the upper back. And then as you inhale, reach the arms up, take your elbows wide, draw the shoulder blades down the back of the body. 
and then reaching up, we're going to swap the other way, so opposite hand on top this time. Good. And then inhale, bring the arms up, take the elbows wide. From here, let's fold forwards, coming into a tabletop position, placing the hands onto the floor, the shoulders stack above the wrists and the hips stack above the knees. Find a light toning of the abdomen, roll your shoulders down the back of the body, and then lift your chest forward, lift your chin. Exhale, push the ground away, look to your navel, tuck your tailbone. So inhale, drawing the chest forward, sending your tailbone back. And exhale, tuck the tailbone, push the ground away with the hands. Let's take one more, inhale. And exhale. Good, and then come back to the center. Your toes are tucked, just narrow the knees slightly. Send your hips back to your heels. Now, for some people, this feels fairly torturous, but you're just gonna take a couple of breaths, stretching out through the toes. The fascia, the connective tissue of the body gets kind of tight and sticky uh, overnight. And You'll really feel that in the feet. If we take a moment just to breathe and open up through the feet, it has such a valuable impact or rebound through the whole system. So when we come to stretch the hamstrings, there'll be uh, a little bit more space there perhaps. So that's why we're going from here. You're going to place the hands onto the floor, push the weight back into the feet, feet hip width apart, catch hold of opposite elbows, let the head hang heavy. Maybe gently swaying from side to side. Good. So let there be a bend in the knees, especially if the hamstrings are tight. And then releasing the elbows from here, start to walk your hands forward until you arrive in a downward facing dog. So pressing the hands to the earth, keep that softness in the knees, lift your sitting bones high, long spine. Good. Drawing your navel up towards the spine, lifting through the sitting bones. Maybe you pedal through the heels, but there's no forcing of the heels to the ground. Really focus on lifting and lengthening up through your spine. Good, and then let's Draw the belly button up as you start to walk your feet to meet your hands at the top of the mat. Good, fold over your toes. Rise to standing, sweep your arms high. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Release them to the sides. Good, now inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, folding all the way down. Lengthen your spine, look up halfway. Step the left foot to the back of the mat, followed by the right foot, high plank pose. Good, push through the heels. You can always drop the knees. We're gonna do that in a moment anyway. Really toning through the abdomen. Now knees come to the ground if they're not already there. Bend your elbows and lower your heart to the earth. Coming forwards into a low cobra pose, point your toes back, lengthen the back of the neck, and then tuck your toes, come up to downward facing dog. Let's be here for a couple of breaths. Again, you can pedal through the heels or just find stillness. Focus is lengthening the spine rather than heels to the ground. Good, and then look forwards. Step the left foot and then the right foot to the top of the mat. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold forwards. Rise to standing, inhale, arms up. Good, exhale, hands to heart. Releasing the palms either side of the body. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, fold forwards. 
Lengthen your spine, look up halfway. This time right foot, then left foot to the back of the mat. Push through the heels, strong core. Knees can be lifted or on the earth. Take a breath in, lower your knees, bend your elbows. Inhale, snaking forward, cobra pose. And exhale, back to downward facing dog. Good, following your breath. And then find your tiptoes. Look forward, step your feet to your hands. Inhale, spine lengthens. Exhale, fold forwards. Rise up to standing, inhale the arms alongside your ears. And exhale, hands to heart. Good. From here, let's place the hands onto the hips. Shift the weight to the right foot and bring your left knee in towards your chest. Then send that left foot into the space behind you and step the ball of the foot to the ground. Good. Raise the arms up alongside your ears. Now make sure that there is about a hip's width distance between the feet so that you're not on a tightrope. That'll help you find your balance. And then that right knee stacks over the ankle. You really strengthen through that leg. Gentle tuck of the tailbone so you're opening up through the left hip. Take a breath in, extend the right leg and start to reach forward, sending your hips back. Now there'll be a point where you feel uh, perhaps a stretch through the back of the leg. Just be mindful not to push into that knee, really use, activate through the thigh, use the strength of the thigh. And then hands come onto the floor or onto your blocks. You can always adjust the position of the back leg. So if the ground feels too far away, rather than overstretching, just adjust the pose. Always adjusting the pose to fit the body rather than forcing the body to fit the pose. Good. Now re-bend that right knee, reach the arms up, and then twist right arm back, left arm forwards, but keep the lower body steady. So we're really opening up through the upper body. Gaze is over the right shoulder. Lovely, inhale, come back to center. Place the hands down in front of the right foot. Step the left foot to the top of the mat. Take an inhale, long spine, and exhale to fold. Rise up to standing, inhale, the arms come alongside your ears. And exhale, release the hands. Let's place them back onto the hips. This time the right foot comes up into your chest, finding your balance, a really strong foundation with that left leg. Then send the right foot to the space behind you, placing the ball of the foot down onto the ground. Hip width between the feet, let's raise the arms up. So no big flaring of the ribs, try to keep everything contained, tuck the tailbone, feel that lovely stretch through the front of the right thigh. Breathe. Keeping strong foundation with the lower body. Start to lengthen that left leg as you inhale. And then reaching forwards, forwards, forwards. And then taking the hands down to the ground or to your blocks. Good. Take another couple of breaths. And then bend into the left knee, raise the arms up alongside your ears. Take your left arm back, right arm forwards, look over that left shoulder. Keep extending from fingertip to fingertip. Good. And then bring the hands back to center, use your core. This time release your hands down, but instead of stepping forwards, we're gonna step the left foot back. We're in our plank pose. Drop the left knee down, Take the left toes to the left side and peel the right arm up. Good. You could take a big stretch, reach the right arm alongside your right ear. You could turn the chest up skywards. 
and then place the hand down, turn the left toes back, right knee to the floor, right toes to right side. Let's peel up with the left hand. Good, taking a little stretch here, whatever feels good and right in your body. And then place the hand back down to the floor. Let's send the hips back to your heels, child's pose. Take a deep breath in and a big sigh. <sighs> Gently walk your hands towards your knees. Let's cross the ankles and come down onto the back of the body. Good. So if there's any extra poses or shapes that you want to take this morning, then of course you can add them in. Maybe just find a couple of breaths with your back on the floor, just bringing the energy down for a moment. Feel the support of the earth beneath you. And then extend the legs out onto the floor. And most important part of the practice is take Shavasana. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, release the breath. <sighs> Let go of the effort. Just let yourself be still for a moment. Allowing all of the energy of your practice resonate through the body. You can stay here for a while longer. I encourage you to do so if you can. And when you're ready, you can start to move your fingers and toes, take a stretch of the body. Maybe roll onto one side. And just moving mindfully as you bring yourself up to seat. And just moving mindfully as you bring yourself up to seated. Finding that tall spine and letting the mind rest on the breath. Just notice how it is that you feel here. Notice any shifts in energy or anything else. And try not to attach to whatever it might be. If you notice change, then let that be so. If you don't notice any change, then let that be so. Just meet yourself where you are and join your hands to your heart. And shaping that intention that you set at the beginning of class so you can carry it forwards with you as you meet the day ahead of you. Let the power of the practice guide you as you step beyond your mat and into your day. Take a deep breath in. And a big sigh to let that breath go. Thank you for your practice. Have a beautiful day. If you enjoyed that class, then you can come and join me on The Practice, my online studio where you'll find hundreds of classes to choose from. I really hope to see you there very soon.